Booyah! What's up everyone? Geek Violet X3 here and welcome back to another Transformers a Transformers design tier list or a tier list video. And today, like I promised in the promised in the RC video, yes, today we're gonna be we're gonna be ranking every Nightbird but Nightbird design from worst to best. Now, as you all know, or didn't probably know, Nightbird is Nightbird is hands down hands down one of my favorite character favorite characters ever in Rise in Rise of the Beast. Sorry, not Rise of the Beast, Transformers. Well, she did appear in Rise of the Beast, but she's my favorite character out of the entire in the entire franchise. And and when I noticed and when I noticed that she was going to be appearing in in the Rise of the Beast movie, I was very very excited, and I couldn't fucking wait to see her to see her to see her in it. And once seeing her on the big screen, I was so happy because seeing a character like that who hasn't really gotten that many adaptations to begin with, it was really nice to see her to see her have a role in the movie, even though it didn't really end up end up being how being how I wanted it to be and I'm sure a lot of people also can agree on that but that's a story for another time let's go ahead and jump right into right into the rankings the first top tier we have she's everything I've always wanted and the second this puppet has a punch and the middle one being I wonder if batteries are included and the second to last being I'll cut you in two and the very last one last one being she's not so hot she's hot enough to replace you whenever I choose but let's go ahead and get and start off and start off with the original gener with the Transformers generation one design of Nightbird and of course her he, she made her first appearance appearance in the episode of course titled enter the Nightbird and she was a ninja robot that robot designed by dr uh, by uh, by by famous scientist <laughs> Dr. Fujiyama, and I fell in love with with this design. It I immediately was like, oh hell yes! I was I was immediately I was immediately sold because I I love ninja characters, especially if they're females. I love female ninja characters above all above above everything, and seeing a seeing a female ninja robot. It just, it just like yes, give it to like give it, give it all. Like I'm here for it. Like fuck it, don't stop giving me that that stop. Don't stop giving us like female ninja robots and shit. And this design, of course, is is very is very is very iconic. And and she just looks so fucking badass and so cool. And again, I'm I was so happy to see her be in the be in the Rise of the Beast movie. So of course this this one goes into the very top tier. And yes, she's everything I've always wanted. Next up in the in the same G1 design, we have the Legends and Legends Master and, and Masterpiece. This is definite. This is basically a re, basically a redeco of the masterpiece of Masterpiece G1 RC. And I really I really dig it. Really dig it. I really do dig it. Apparently, it apparently it does trans it, it does transform. I kind of do dig I kind of do dig it, but at the same time, I'm like it didn't like. There's no need for it to have like an alt mode and shit because she didn't have one in the have one in the in the, in the G1 cartoon. So she still looks, but she still looks very very awesome. And I am for that. I'm going to put her in also the top tier. She's also everything I've always wanted. I forgot that as well. All right, and now on to the Earth Wars version of Nightbird and it's basically a remodel of a remodel of RC and uh yeah i mean like it's it's not ter like it's not terrible like it's not it's not terrible don't get me wrong but but at the end of the day it is still just a remodel of of RC i still do think it looks it looks neat so for, so for that i'm just going to go ahead and put it in this puppet has a punch Okay, and next up we have Shattered Glass Nightbird, and this was apparently a, came a cameo, and uh, seeing the colors that she has, it is, uh, oh, yeah, I, d I don't, I'm not really feeling the colors, uh, colors all that much. It does kind, it does look like this will be, that it still is the, like the original G, original G1 design, but just that the colors are different. I don't really mind the color. I, I mean, I do mind the colors a lot, actually, and I just don't think it fits. So, uh, but just because the design is still the same somewhat, I'm gonna go ahead and I wonder if these. I wonder if batteries are included. All right, and next up, I. You know what? I don't really. I can't remember in what in what order to say these. 
to say these words, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and have Common and Kev say it, say it for me. Can you help me out with that? Next up, we've got the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 Nightbird. Thank you, dude. Anyways, but yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, his his tier list ranking video will be in the description down below as well, and a link to his channel. This, uh, the inspiration comes from him, and this is basic. This is basically basically uh, basically his tier list. So all credit goes to him. Now, uh, mm, I mean, I mean, okay, the design is 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 good, but. I don't really know how to feel about her having these kind of like having like a uh, kind of like a mini skirt and a mini skirt and just like a I don't I don't even know like a crop top and and shit and that umbrella I uh, yeah I I don't know I it's again I'm not gonna I don't wanna I'm not gonna be too harsh because it's still the same design but just she's got thigh highs and a mini skirt and a crop top. And that doesn't really fit the character. It just, it just doesn't. Even though, even though, like, in reality, I would probably be like, "Oh, damn!" But at the same time, she's supposed to be a badass, like, silent assassin kind of character. And I don't really see her wearing these kind, this kind of clothing. But it is the same design, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, go ahead and put it in, put it in the middle tier. And also, at the same time, I'm probably I'm actually gonna move this to, move this to that. Yeah. Because it is the same design, because it is the same design after all, so I'm not- so again, I'm not gonna be too harsh on that. Alrighty, and next up we have the Generation Select Deluxe Class Nightbird. And I dig this. I- I do. I do. I- I'm not really sure how to feel about the- feel about the- the alt mode. I- I mean, it's- I mean, it's not bad, I just don't really know how to feel about it. Like, it's not terrible, but it's also not something- but it, at the same time, I don't think it's something that I would- that I would give a Nightbird, personally. But, I really do dig the robot mode, and uh, this is a- this is a very, very neat- neat fucking figure, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put it in- this puppet has a punch. Alright, and now on to the next one, where Nightbird was a... cargo vessel. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, sure. I I I guess. I mean, what do I even say about this? I mean, basically just an just an Autobot cargo vessel and it's not even really any robot robot model. It's literally just a ship. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to you're going to you're going to go there. <laughs> Cause it's not even because it's not even the actual character. It's just a ship. Next up, we have the Creo Nightbird, and I like this. I like this a lot. I definitely like this a whole lot more than the RC than the G1 uh, Creo RC. You're gonna you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna go ahead and go into. She's everything I've always wanted, and she's adorable. If uh, if any Transformers convention is ever gonna uh, ever gonna happen in Finland, you can bet your ass that I'm gonna be looking for anything Nightbird related. Or if there's any shops nearby where I could potentially find some Transformers comics and shit, I am definitely gonna look for something that has Nightbird in it. If I have to say, if I really had to say, if I had to choose between RC and Nightbird, I would, I think I would choose Nightbird. I think it's just because it's definitely, well, I mean, it's definitely because I love, love female, nin female ninja robots and fem and just female ninja characters. So, so she definitely gets, gets bonus points for that. Okay, and next up we have Cyberverse Nightbird. She was from a from the season four special, The Immobilizers, and she's pretty much again a remodel of RC. And like, yeah, this is definitely this is definitely a con definitely been a continuing continuing pattern a little bit that that Nightbirds Nightbirds only been recycled to be a Nightbird a not Nightbird sorry RC RC remodel or redeco. And I mean, it is kind of unfortunate, be unfortunate because the design itself that we that we've seen, especially from G1 and other incarnations, she definitely has her own unique design. And I and I wish that she would have she would be more, in, more in, than just an RC remodel, because you can make the design unique. It doesn't have to be an RC remodel every every single time. But at the same time, I do dig this. I really I really do. 
I even did a voice impression video of Cyberverse Nightbird because she has that little bit of, because she has them uh, has a little bit of a little bit of a deep raspy voice a little bit. So I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna do, go ahead and do that voice, and I really do, really do, I really dig her voice in that, and I and I still dig the design either way. So, but because at the same time it's also an RC remodel, I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Don't fuck with this assassin, or I'll cut you in two. Okay, and next up we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Yeah, next up we have the, uh... The Angry Birds. Nightbird. Yeah, no, I am- I do not like this at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what I meant in the RC video, where, like, if you could see- if you would see the other versions of these Angry Birds Transformers models, then uh you can get you can get why i feel the way i do about them but yeah she's not so hot <laughs> all right and now let's move on to rise of the beast nightbird step on me mommy yes oh yes my beloved she she looks absolutely amazing she looks uh, she looked absolutely uh, like incredible fantastic in the movie and and her voice actress as well even even had me more more excited and happy because if you guys if you guys if you guys didn't know her voice actor is Michelle Sh Michelle J Rodriguez and Rodriguez Rod Rod Rodriguez sorry <laughs> sorry for butchering your last name but yeah if and if you guys didn't know this fact uh she is a she is a trans woman and being someone who is trans also and seeing that a trans woman was voicing voicing one of my favorite my one of my favorite characters of all time in in the trans in the Transformers franchise that filled me up with so much joy and it and she was so she was so fucking awesome in the movie it's unfortunate that she didn't really do all that much but i still really did, did enjoy enjoy the time that she had in the movie and I was so disappointed to see her just just die in the way that she the way that she went out because she could have gone out in like in like the most badass fashion possible. She could have gone down in like a in like a one-on-one -on -one fight. But like a one-on-one -on -one fight with RC, that would have been fucking awesome, but we didn't get that. All we got really was just was just her being Pretty much being uh, targeted, targeted and fired, um, basically friendly fired by by Scourge, and I was so fucking disappointed and sad to see how how she went out and how they basically killed her off, because now it basically means that we probably won't see, that we definitely won't see this character in any other live action Transformers movie, but part of me is hoping that we will because this character has so much uniqueness to her. And she can be done justice better than in Rise of the Beast. I feel like she wasn't really done, done perfectly in the movie, but the design itself is top notch. And for that, she's going into the top tier. She is everything I have always wanted. Oh yeah, and another thing to add: the alt mode for the for Nightbird for Nightbird as well was also really fucking dope. I really do, really do. Di why didn't Why did my voice go southern there for a sec? I really do dig the design, dig the car, the car model that they chose for her, and I'm planning on getting that same car model in GTA Online, so I can, so I can simp even more than I already am. So yeah. <laughs> All right, and next up we have the Deluxe Class Nightbird, and yeah, I these colors, ugh, these fucking colors, dude. I'm not digging these colors at all. They're they're they they don't fit. But the design is still there. Yeah, no. I'll I'll cut you in two. <laughs> Again, the the model itself, the figure and the car model or sorry, the car mode looks really really awesome. Uh, but at least the design is still there. So that's something. And next up we have the Roller Changer and Flex Changer Nightbird and you know what? This doesn't this doesn't look all uh, this doesn't look all that uh, all that bad. I mean, the these colors definitely fit a whole lot more than that previous one. Still, the design itself isn't really all that detailed, 
like as the previous one, like I said, but we're, so, we're gonna put you in, I wonder if batteries are included. Like I don't like, like I don't love it, but I also don't really hate it. All right, now let's move on to my favorite part of these, of these tier list rankings, the fan art category. And first up, we have a, we have a fan art from Miss Occupus. I, I if I if I pronounced your name wrong, I am terribly sorry. They did a really really fantastic fantastic nightbird nightbird design, and looking all beefy and strong, and ready ready to crush any pathetic Autobots that 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 <laughs> that come into her path. Like, oh, bro, can you imagine how awesome it would be if a Nightbird had a Russian accent? Dude, I would fuck it. Okay, let me, let me, let me calm down a bit. But, it, but either way, but either way, yes, th this design is so fucking awesome. I love the beefiness and I love like the, the she's so fucking menacing and so badass looking. And, ah, uh, yep, I... Part of me did. Part of me also wishes that we could get a nightbird design like this in some for, in some form of media. But hey, we have the design right here from this amazing artist that we can that we can go ahead and look at in awe. And you, of course, will go to the top tier. All fan art, all fan art is going to the top. Is going to the top tier. And next up, we have fan art from Matthew Art, and they did their their interpretation of what Nightbird would look like in in the Transformers animated style. And this also, and this really looks fucking awesome. I I wish we could have had Nightbird Nightbird appear in that appear in that in that series, but unfortunately, it never happened. But I could definitely see her look at, looking like this if she if she ever did make an appearance. And of course, you go straight into the top tier. All right, and now next up we have another fan art piece from 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 Shan from Shan for Art, who also made who also made art of Transformers animated animated R animated RC in the previous in the previous video, and this absolutely fucking rocks. Like I li I dig I dig like the cape that the cape that she has, and. And just that robot de robot design as well. Like this is like this screams uh, screams like very like menacing like ninja ninja assassin. Where like if you don't want you don't want to fuck with her because if you do you might want to start fucking praying. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. I love this design. It looks really really fucking dope. <sighs> oh shit! Can you imagine if we got a nightbird that looked that looked like this in like a series or? Or like a live action movie. I know I keep saying that, but like, but like these these amazing talented artists who keep who make all who make all this fantastic fan art and their interpretations of of a design of a character, and it just makes me keep going. Like, man, I wish we could could have had something like this. In it doesn't have, even have to be a live action movie, but just like a like a series or something like that. But. At least I can. At least I can stare, respect, look respectfully, and be amazed by how by how amazing this looks. Next up, we have we have Nightbird from Transformers Combaticons, and the design was the design was made by an art by an artist called Kats, by called Katska, and or Katska. I hope I'm I hope I'm saying that right. And the colors and the colors were done by Key and by Key and Carlisle. And this also, this also looks so, so fucking, so fucking amazing. Like, there's, I don't know, I don't know what else I can even say about, say about all this fucking fan art because this looks so fucking amazing. Again, you also go into the top tier. I mean, do I even have to say that? All of these go into the top tier. And lastly, we have, we have a design, a design from, uh, from an artist, from an artist called uh, Rise Mecha. Or Rizmeka? I'm gonna say Rizmeka because I feel like that's the right pronunciation. Here we have their their interpretation of what Nightbird would look like if she was in the cyberpunk universe. And oh this <laughs> this fucking rocks as rocks as well. Just just as much. I really dig the claws that she, the claws that she has and that mask that she has and the and even i even really like the hairstyle the the type of hair that she's been given here and all the markings that she has and the colors are just chef kiss and the car mode it's in the car mode itself 
looks absolutely fucking sick. Like, like if it was like if I could actually drive the drive this car in Cyberpunk, I would, I would in a fucking heartbeat. Like this looks absolutely incredible. Fantastic, fantastic work, fantastic work, and fantastic work to all of the other artists as artists as well who appeared in who who appeared in this in this tier list ranking. And of course, to the top you go. Now there we have it. That's all of the Nightbird Nightbird designs ranked from worst to best. Glad I got to got to making this video because it's been because it's been in the making for such a long time, and I'm glad I finally was able to able to get to get going with it. Again, huge shout out to all of the to all of the people to all of the artists who drew their own interpretations of Nightbird because again, all of them look so fucking amazing. Like shout out to all of y'all. Keep up the amazing work. And yeah, that's all I have to say for th for this video. And the next tier ranking tier next tier ranking that we're going to be doing is Grimlock, and that's going to be a much longer video. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have to do a lot of <laughs> a lot of explaining and shit and stuff in that in that video whenever it does come out. But thank you all so much for watching. And again, if you again if you enjoy, if you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and go check out my ranking of all the RC designs. And if you want to go do this tier list for yourself, I'll leave it in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I shall see you all, my lovely crackheads, in the next video. Love y'all. Peace!